Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight, we're going to be doing something a bit new, different. And by that, I mean old. We are going to try out Pokemon Emerald. Now, of course, on this here stream, we have played through Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Crystal, and also Pokemon Blue Rescue Team, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but I don't think that really counts, technically. But when it comes to the third generation of Pokemon games, I... I don't remember ever, like, playing it. I know that I never played an actual copy before. So it'll be an interesting experience. Like, I maybe a long time ago I might have given, like, the opening a shot. But when it comes to the actual game, playing it all the way through, never done that. And I don't even know what the difference is between... Emerald and the original Ruby and Sapphire are. I think I heard that it changes like the champion and I know this is like a fusion so you have to deal with Aqua and Magma but I don't quite know the specifics but either way let's give it a shot. Let's quickly make sure all the settings are good to my liking. I like this tech speed fast. Uh, I guess I'll leave it mono. And let's take a look at borders. There's a classic, kind of classic, pipes, Lego, industrial, kind of flowery, speaking of flowery, snow, brick, uh, stationary, uh, what is that, like, the, the paper snowflakes, galaxy, sand, more paper snowflakes. Different kind of Lego. Rock. Uh, it feels like a... What's the word for it? I completely forget the word for it, but it's like that button-up shirt that people, like, certain guys like to wear. Ribbons. Hmm. Interesting. Do any of them... I think I'll just honestly just stay with the basic one. It's nice and simple. But let's get on with a new game. And who are you, Mr. Professor Man? Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Is that what all Pokemon Professors are called? The Pokemon Professor? They go to a The Pokemon Professor meeting, where everybody's a Pokemon professor. <laughs> this is what we call a Pokemon. Why do you have Latios? How do you even have that? This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon, and really, that's just showing off when it's like... I forget... Professor Elm in the second generation, he sends out a normal Pokemon. Professor Oak, he sends out a Rattata or a Nidoran or whatever. This guy's like, I have a legendary show off. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. And that's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or a girl? I guess we can go with the May outfit. Alright, what's your name? As always... I am Neon. Mr. Man. So it's Neon. Yes. Okay. You're Neon who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright. Are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. 
He's like, ah, yes, we work together with Pokemon. Why am I in the back with all the loose cargo of a moving truck? That seems unsafe. And now we are free. All right. Mother, why was I in the moving van? Am I secretly a robot? Am I merely material to you? Neon, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Again, does not seem safe. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Neon. Let's go inside. Where was I before where I didn't get my own room? See, Neon, isn't it nice in here, too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving it, us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Neon, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new... Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Figgy! Even though I think you're a slack off and... Why are you just walking back and forth? You have no idea where to set it and you're freaking out? It's a GameCube, an orange GameCube. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. Mom might like this program. Better get going. What program? You didn't even describe it! Take a closer look at the Hoenn region map. There's a lot of water. Lots of water. Let's see. Sutopolis? Why would anybody call it that? Moss Deep? Evergrande City? Is it because it's Evergrande? Pacifilog Town? Slateport? Old... Excuse me. Old Dale. Duford. Petalburg. I guess all the red towns are ones that have gyms and are, like, generally bigger with the occasional knot. And then all the blue ones are just, like, I guess smaller ones? Because let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Guess that makes sense. And then one will be the bibbidi-bop, the what's it called? The League, like, High Council. Fortree. Oh no, not Fortnite. Lily Cove. Fallerber. Lava Ridge. Verdant Turf. Very interesting. Neon flipped open the notebook. Adventure rule number one. Open the menu with start. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress with save. The remaining pages are blank. Not very good adventure rule. What would you like to do? I have a potion. I am now a wizard. Throw away items. No, thank you. Mailbox. There's no mail. And I checked my messages, but there isn't no... I forget the words. So it's like, but there ain't no any message here. I want to go to bed. Well, the clock is stopped. Better set it and start. Let's see. This is AM. No, we need to go to PM. Because let's see. That'd be one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen, like, a normal clock. About ish here, I'd say. Rough enough. And besides, since this is emulated, it'll probably get whacked out eventually anyway. Neon, how do you like your new room? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. I already did. I flip open my notebook once again. Oh, Neon, Neon, quick, come quickly! Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from the front of Petalburg Gym. Aw, oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. 
Go introduce yourself to the important professor man. There's a movie on TV. Two men are dancing on a big piano keyboard. Better get going. I don't know what that's a reference to. I am not worldly. Are you the technology guy? If you use a PC, you can store items and Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Professor Bert spends days in his lab studying. Then he'll suddenly go out in the wild to do more research. When does Professor Bert spend time at home? I guess he doesn't have a wife. Or a family. Is that coffee? Give me the coffee! Better not mess around with it, but why not? Huh? Professor Birch? The professor's away on fieldwork. Ergo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what fieldwork is. It is to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. So basically, the entirety of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So technically, Ray and or Akari are the greatest prof <laughs> Pokemon professors ever to exist. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. Well, if you have to read about things in a laboratory rather than experience them, are you really a researcher? It's a book that's too hard to read. <laughs> it's a book that's too hard to read. Well, obviously you need to dunk it into water so that it becomes softer. Softer to read. Professor Birch's house. Can I break in? I can break in. Oh, hello. And you are? Oh, you're Neon, our next, our new next door neighbor. Hi. We have a son about the same age as you. Our son was excited about making a new friend. Ah, so the male playable character in this game, or not male, but like the rival character of this game is the child of Birch. Interesting. The professor. Our son is upstairs, I think. I'm gonna barge into his, their room and say, Hello, I am me. Hi, neighbor. Do you already have your own Pokemon? No, because your dad is out in the field. Mom might like this program. Better get going. Once again, doesn't describe it. I can steal this. Hey, you. Who are you? Oh, you're Neon, aren't you? Move to next door, right? I didn't know that you're a girl. Oh, so you just jump right to that, do ya? Dad, uh, Professor Birch, said that our new next-door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed you'd be a guy. Because only boys can have fathers who go to the gym? What if... What if our mother was the gym leader? Would you assume we were a girl? My name's Brendan, so hi, neighbor. Uh, I don't even get to name you! <laughs> I walk up, see, see the professor, and be like, hey... Can I rename your child? Give me his birth certificate. Huh? Hey, Neon, don't you have a Pokemon? Do you want me to go catch you one? Ah, darn, I forgot. I was supposed to go help my dad catch some wild Pokemon. Some other time, okay? Of course he has the normal GameCube. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. No, that looks like a normal GameCube controller. That even, even has, like, the green button for the big A. Mom might like this program. Better get going. Well, I might as well save in our neighbor's room. Because that's not weird at all. We have one potion. And nothing else. But apparently we have money. And that's good enough for me. Well, I guess... I also love that he says, Oh, I was supposed to go out with my dad to catch wild Pokemon. Guess I'll, uh, like, catch a wild Pokemon later. Sits down at his desk and doesn't go out to his father. Um, hi. There's scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Help me! You're being ch ch chased by a zigzagoon? Hello! You over there! Please help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball! What are you going? Don't leave me like this! M Mudfish Pokemon, Mudkip. Chick Pokemon, Torchic. Well, I have to go with Trico. Come on, Shane. Let's reunite.
Kill that Zigzagoon! Pound that little monster! Just keep on the attack. Attack, attack, attack. That is how things work. Haha, <laughs> you missed, you fool! You... How dare you heal! I knew it, you little bastard! Well, fine, I guess I'll leer at you. And now we'll attack you. I like the music. There's like an underlying, like, echoey track that's playing. I like it. Goodbye, you little bastard. Trico gains 17 experience points. Whew. I was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Thanks a lot. Oh? Hi, you're Neon. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? And by that he means, hey, let's go to my Pokemon lab to continue this conversation. So, Neon, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. By the way, you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum! I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And now I have my own Pokemon. While you're at it, why not give a nickname? Yes. We are going to name you after my partner from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. You are Shane the Trico. And we will do great things together. If you work at Pokemon and... If you work at Pokemon... You mean work with? And gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid Brendan is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Neon, yeah, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see him? Sure. Great. Brendan should be happy too. Get Brendan to teach you what it means to be a trainer. What do you gotta say, man? <laughs> professor Birch is studying the habitats and distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys Brendan's help too. There's a lot of love there. And I go up to his son and be like, I saved your father. Oh, let's talk to the kid. You saved Professor Birch. I'm so glad. Already, I'm a local hero. I saved your husband. Oh, Brendan went out to Route 103 just a little while ago. Like father, like child, Brendan can't stay quietly at home. Then I shall invade his room and maybe steal from him if that Pokeball is still there. Damn, he took the Pokeball with him. He knew what I was going to do. He saw right through me. Well, before we go, let us go and talk to our mother. Dear mother, I have a Pokemon now. How are you doing, Neon? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. She snaps my neck and puts me in bed. Take care, honey. I didn't even get to tell her that I have a Pokemon now. Come back to this platform so I can talk to you. I don't want to go there. I want to talk to you out here. You come to me, little man. Wild Pokemon will jump at you in tall grass. If you want to catch Pokemon, you have to go into tall grass and search. And have Pokeballs. You left that part out, you little, you little bastard. If Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale Town right close by. Time to fight. Ah, Poochiana. I knew your, like, evolved form is Mightyena, so I forgot. Pound the bitch. Kill them. Kill them just like you did in the Pokemon world in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Destroy them all. Yeah, in fact, why not just do a little bit of grinding? Because Brendan will probably be like... Again, that's actually interesting that we don't get to name our rival in this one. In the last one, we were able to. I wonder if they just, like, lean away from that in the future. Then again, come to think of it, we didn't get to name our rival in Pokemon Legends Arceus either. So maybe they just 
lean away from it in later games. <laughs> Probably because people named their rivals offensive, well, not offensive, but like crude and crass things in the various Pokemon games. And learn to absorb. Now I can heal. We'll kill one more. And we can use Absorb on him, too. It's a Wumple! Does that mean that my Absorb isn't gonna work well on you, you bastard? Because it's Grass, your bug. I don't think Grass works on bug. Well, let's try it. It's level two. Yep, doesn't do much. We got one health point from it. Not my speed, my drugs. Are you a dumb man? Goodbye, little Wemple. You are now dead. Hi, I work at Pokemart. Can I can I get you to come with me? I'm being abducted by a service worker! This is a Pokemart. Just look out for our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. I already had this from my computer. A potion can be used any time, so it's even more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. Alright. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. What, do you just check out? <laughs> I save my progress, you just stand there, catatonically. When Pokemon battle, they eventually level up and become stronger. That already happened to me! If the Pokemon with you become stronger, you'll be able to go farther away from here. So that means that if you don't have a strong Pokemon, you're just trapped? Does that mean that there are Pokemon escort services? And Pokemon escort services? The Pokemon Wireless Club on the second floor was built recently, but they say they're still making adjustments. Well, I'm not going to use it anyway. Pokemon Centers are great! You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all for free! You never have to worry! Free healthcare, huh? Novel concept. That PC in the corner there is for any Pokemon trail to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it, too. Heal my mon! We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Would you like to rest my one Pokemon? Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Does that imply that you hope to see my Pokemon injured again, so I'll come back? It's like you go to the, your doctor, and they say, I can't wait to meet you again. The clerk says they're all sold out. I can't buy any Pokeballs. Damn you, the one thing I wanted. If a Pokemon gets hurt and loses its HP and faints, it won't be able to battle. To prevent your Pokemon from fainting, restore its HP with a potion. Or black out and die. That works too. Because we know Brendan is going to try and battle us, let us do a bit of experiencing the world. By dancing in this one place, I can fight anything. We're gonna leer, so that it'll become weaker. And now we shall smack you. And now to see how effective Absorb is, let's use it! Give me your soul. Like, not bad, but doesn't do as much damage. So in a way, hmm, it's kind of odd. We take more damage and less damage at the same time. We'll level up to level 7, I guess, and then explore around. Search for Brendan, who will eventually come forth and say, Fight me! And you're just like, Haha, now you can't use your absorb ability, you fool, you imbecile! I'll leer at you, and then I'll kill you. Luckily, you're too busy using String Shot, so you're gonna die anyway. You fool! And of course you get a critical hit, you bastard. 
the first critical of the game, and it wasn't from me! And now we really do have to go back to the Pokemon Center. I go back in, they're like, wow, you're back quickly. You must suck as a Pokemon trainer. <laughs> they ask, so what really happened? A Wurmple got a critical hit on my Trico. <laughs> the wonders of the world. Well, did we invade that person's home? I think we... No, we don't. I don't think we did. Hello, person. I'm in your chairs. When a Pokemon battle starts, the one at the left of the list goes out first. So, when you get more Pokemon in your party, try switching around that order of your Pokemon. It could give you an advantage. Hello, man. What are you saying about the world? I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? I wonder how many excuses for blocking paths Game Freak have come up with over the years. Hello, child. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a potion. I have two, and I'm not going to give any to you. Eh, we have two potions, so we can... Fight this level four, buddy. Haha, and you missed, you fool! Your skill is floundering! You're going to die! I'm going to save. Because that way, if I feel like it, and this little man beats me. I might very well reload. And you know what? We do have two potions. It doesn't bother me. I want all the advantage I have against you. I shall beat you up. I shall annihilate you, little man. Okay, so it's this one and that one that live on Route 103. Hey, it's Neon. Oh yeah, Dad gave, me, gave you a Pokemon. Since we're here, how about a little battle? I'll teach you what it being a trainer is all about. Beep, 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 beep. I have a level advantage on you. Leer at the little man. Pound the chicken. And then once we get to a, hmm. I was gonna say use Absorb, but it might not help much. I love the music. I can hear the horns of Hoenn. Keep pounding away. If we missed one, we probably would have died. But instead I am the victor. And I got 69 experience points. Nice. Huh. Yeah, and you're not too shabby. And I got money from him for winning. I mugged the professor's son. Ha ha ha. I think I get it. I think I know why my dad has his eye out for you now. Look, your Pokemon already likes you even though you just got it. And I get the feeling you, that you could be... Uh, well, could, could be. Could befriend any Pokemon with ease. We should head back to the lab. And why is that, little man? <laughs> I guess that's to show you that you can indeed do that. Because nobody else would know. Because I guess we have to go get our Pokedex first. And then we can start catching Pokemon. Because I'll definitely want a, a, a Poochiana. Maybe catch a Wurmple just so that we have the option. Maybe wander around the top side to see if there are any Pokemon that spawn there next to the water. I'm heading back to my dad's lab now. Neon, you should hustle, hustle back too. Well, if you're about all about that hustle, why were you waiting for me? Also, apparently, for some reason, my shortcuts for changing my little avatar's expressions uh, isn't working while I'm selected onto the emulator. But if I'm not selected onto the emulator, 
I cannot actually play the game. Oh, hi, Neon. I heard you beat Brendan on your first try. That's excellent. Brendan's been helping me with my research for a long time now. Brendan has extensive history as a trainer already. He has extensive history, and yet he has a level 5 Pokemon. Granted, that could also mean that he raised his Pokemon from level 1, and so that extensive knowledge could be just hanging out with his Torchic and going on his way for a few bit with a young Pokemon. Who knows? Here, Neon, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have it. This Pokedex. I got the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. Flashback to Legends Arceus, where it's all handwritten. My kid Brendan goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex, why, Brendan looks for me while I'm out. Doing field work and shows me. Ah, so you got a, so you got a Pokedex too. Well then, here, I'll give you these. Pokeballs! You know it's more fun to have a whole bunch of Pokemon. I'm gonna explore all over the place to find different Pokemon. If I find any cool Pokemon, you bet I'll try to get them with Pokeballs. Countless Pokemon await you! Oh, I'm getting that itch to get out and do field work again. Where should I look for Pokemon next? On the moon! Oh, hello, Mom. Neon, Neon, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Professor Birch, how nice. You're your father's kid, all right. You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. This is a mother who cares about her child. Put Neon, those shoes came with instructions. We live in a world where shoes need instructions now? Press the B button while wearing these running shoes to run extra fast. Slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed, but please be careful. If anything happens, you can come home. Go on. Go get them, honey. Go murder some motherfuckers. Mighty Ina. Wurmple. And you're level two. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to catch you. Just like to have. And don't like. I forget. I forget how uh, Wurmple work. Because I know that, like, there's the Cascoon and the other one. Dustox and the other Pokemon version. There's Silcoon and Cascoon. There's two different evolutions. It sticks to tree branches and eats leaves. The thread it spits from its mouth, which becomes gooey when it touches air, slows the movement of its foes. Hmm, I forget how to spell it. Hmm. Because, how do you spell beautiful again? The arrangement always messes with my brain. No. No, no. Beautisha. In honor of Beauregard. Pucciana. I will catch you and add you to my repertoire. How dare you tackle me. Now don't die. Good. Now come along. We are going to go and have a fun time in the world. Good, you know it's good for you. The Bite Pokemon. It savagely threatens foes with barbed fangs. It chases after fleeing targets tenaciously. It turns tail and runs, however, if the foe strikes back. Hmm. 
What should we call you? How about... I don't know why the, like, arrangement of the letters confuses me. How about Night Fang? And we might as well see it and look. Oh, hey, a Zigzagoon. I guess we can catch a Zigzagoon, too. It'll... Might be a bit to, like, level all of you up. But I won't say no to another Pokemon on my team that I can throw into the computer network if I so choose. The next time I meet Brendan... Ah, it's been like a day. How have you been? I have a full team already. <laughs> He's like, Dear God, what, what are you? He's just like, Well, you see, I'm used to catching all Pokemon. Just like the Legends of Arceus did say. How do you know what a raccoon is? The tiny raccoon Pokemon. Does that mean that raccoon are real animals? Rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders ba about back and forth in search of something. It is distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. Now what kind of... Hmm... You are now Zoom. Professor Zoom, even. Now, let's see. Are there any other Pokemon in here that want to jump out and fight me? Oh, I think we already... We already have a female Wurmple. Kill this little one. Send it back. <laughs> you didn't need to go that hard, Shane. Shane looks up to me. I taste the blood of the enemy in my mouth. I hunger evermore. I have many Pokemon now. Many that I injured myself so that they would join me. I have earned their respect through combat. Well, now let's... Ex well, first, let's see. Do you have... Oh, wait. We'll have to talk to that guy, but... Do they have Pokeballs back in stock? I'm going to buy a bunch of Pokeballs and catch a bunch of Pokemon. Welcome. How may I serve you? Give me your all. Certainly. How many? I want ten Pokeballs. And I guess just a few potions. Hey, science man, you do things? I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footprints. Well, to be fair, maybe you are a rare Pokemon. You ever think about that? Maybe you are the Pokemon. <laughs> maybe I should already start leveling up my Pokemon, like have one in front, switch them out, have Shane beat up the bastard. So that they can be ready to go to the pound town against their foes. And I should probably be using Absorb more so that Shane can exist longer in combat. We'll get Shane to level 9 as we explore up here. My Pokemon is staggeringly tired. I should have brought a Pokeball. A Pokeball? You mean a... I read that wrong. I am dumb. A Poke Potion? A Pokeman! Absorb its life. How dare you fight me? Absorb its life! I just realized that my Absorb does about the same damage. Actually, more damage than it was dealing to me. Who knew that a Poochiana was just a, a portable Pokemon Center for my grass type? That's a dark way of thinking about things. Well, let's try and level up Night Fang some. For your first few battles, I'm going to 
have Shane jump in so that you don't die. Because why fight fair when we can just throw in Shane to do all the work? And he can just absorb their life eternally. Oh, how cute. You think that you're going to live. Kill it. Save your absorb for a worthy opponent. Then again, we should probably do that when there's, like, I guess, higher level enemies to face. Either that or actually try and have them fight their own fight. Like, this is a level 2. You should be able to take on a level 2, can't you, Night Fang? Especially since you only know Tackle anyway. I say you're doing a little bit better. You have, like, one more point in attack than your enemy. And maybe more points in defense as well. Come on, give us like a level 5 to fight. So that Night Fang can get a small boost. Well, that's close enough, I suppose. Don't worry, Night Fang. I won't force you to fight that monster. Instead, we're gonna send out Shane. It would be hilarious if it was like, don't worry, we'll send out Butisha. <laughs> you poor fool, you only do one damage. Heal off it like a portable Pokemon Center. Then again, since technically, don't we have the ability to, like, teleport Pokemon that we catch in the field, but we already have six Pokemon with us, and they teleport to, like, the system, doesn't that mean that we technically have, like, the capability of teleportation? So, why isn't there, like, a portable ability of, like, hey, hello, we are the Pokemon Center teleportation service? Like, I feel like that would be a thing. But I want to chalk to the man in the weeds. A low tad, huh? Aren't you like water grass? I wish you got experience for catching Pokemon. I think that would be a nice incentive. Hmm. I fear for your life, Night Fang. Return. I also forgot that you were in the first place. Perfect, because I don't want to kill you. Now don't die! Hmm. I actually lowered my attack quite deep. Okay, that actually did more damage than I thought it was. Darn you, variants! I do like the... Music. Why was there a Premier Ball? Premier Ball, what? What's a premier ball? We're gonna have to take a look at that. Lotad, water weed Pokemon. This Pokemon lives in ponds of clean water. It is known to ferry small Pokemon across ponds by carrying them on the broadleaf on its head. Hmm. What do we want to call you? I don't even know what you evolve into, because it's been, like, forever. For some reason, my brain says Jack, so you're Jack now. Your name is Jack. Oh, we forgot to talk to the man. I'm gonna catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Not if I have anything to say about it. I catch them all first. Is it gonna be another low tat? No, it's gonna be another Mighty Ena. That is level three. You're level 4, but you're also damaged, Night Fang. So, again, we're going to send out Shane. We're not going to send out Jack because he's on death's door. How dare you hurt his feelings. Take his soul. The more you damage me, the more soul that I take from you. Guess what I'll do is I'll go back heal, maybe have Night Fang fight some of the, like, 
lower level behind us Pokemon. I want my team to be at least semi-ready. Oh yeah, and I need to look at that Premier Ball. What the hell is a Premier Ball? Is it just a bonus Pokeball that you get with a strange name? What are you? A rare ball made in commemorative of commemoration of some event. Where did I get you? Is it because I bought like five Pokeballs? Is that a rare event in this world? You bought five Pokeballs? That's unbelievable. Nightfang, kill this man. Even though killing is all you can do. Shit, it's lowering your already minuscule attack down, the bastard. Apparently, it's just growling in pain. Keep on going. <laughs> I'm going to lower your attack. That annoyed Nightfang so much that he's like, Do you think you lowered my attack? Fuck you. Wish that I had Growl of my own, but he's dead anyway. Didn't even level you up. I don't even know which is faster, sending him to a Pokemon Center or swapping Shane in to mop up the enemy. At this rate, maybe it is a good idea to go to higher level lands and have Shane mop up the, the enemy. Then again, once we get Night Fang over the hump of the levels, he'll be able to level up on his own without much piggybacking off of Shane. Yeah, well, my brain keeps bouncing between let's go ahead, let's grind. Let me guess, you want to fight? If you have a Pokemon with you, you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Do you also have comfy shorts, small child? What level is your Poochiana? Your Poochiana outranks my Poochiana. Sad day. And also my Poochiana is damaged. Luckily, I have Shane though, and he's gonna kick your ass. Go Shane. Fuck up this small child. Absorb his Poochiana's soul. Show him his the the reckoning. Too bad for you. Absorb. <laughs> yeah, and the child is like, yes, Poochiana, continue raising your power. Kill. To be fair, your Pokemon did indeed have Howl. Now my Pokemon has Howl. Your Poochiana is not, imp not not unique anymore to me, youngster Calvin. Go back to Hobbs. Uh, I lost. I should have trained mine more. And I got 80 Poke Dollars from him. Stupid kid. Hmm. We are going to now have... Hey, Zoom, what is that that you have there? You have a nugget! <laughs> my Zigzagoon is just like, I will redeem my people. Here, human, have fucking gold. <laughs> I'm here to ser serve you some nugget. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'll buy five more. Wait, did I get five? Ah, I have the money for it. I'll, I'll buy ten. Maybe get another Premier Ball. Yep, throw Premier Ball. I missed that entirely last time. I'll throw a Premier Ball in too. I'll also take four potions. I'm living it high. Is that just a piece of paper? There's a questionnaire. Would you like to fill it out? Sure. Combine four words or phrases and fill out the questions. There is no question. What is the question? Combine four words or phrases. Fill out the questionnaire. Uh, ah, so yeah, I can... Egg. 
egg. Egg. Airlock. Yes. Thank you for taking the time to fill out our questionnaire. Your feedback will be used for future reference. The next time I go to a shop, they throw a bunch of eggs at me and then throw me into space so they can throw me out of an airlock. Hello, Bugman. Ha-ha! <laughs> Our eyes met! I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon! I forgot to throw my zigzagoon zoom! And did I heal you? I don't think I did. Fuck. I am Le Fool. I got distracted by five million different things. Kill this worm. You think you are savvy? You think you are cool? Your tactics are that of a wild animal, little man! And you will die like a wild animal! You may think, ah, is it because Shane is a grass type? So you're like, ah yes, use bug type move on him, Wormpole! I think that's what he's doing. I think this child is an idiot. Yes, we're gonna throw Zoom out so that he can get some experience, or she can get some experience too. Another Wurmple. Well, I guess I should have seen that coming. You do have a variety. One will become the Butterfly, and one will become the Not Butterfly. Dust Ox. Or is that, is that the Ghost Pokemon? I forget. So many Pokemon, so many names. Kill. Quit using String Shot just because he's a grass type. Make that bug use Flamethrower if you're so special. Congratulations, Professor Zoom. Take that, Rick. Go back and never let people down again. And I got a Nintendo 64 worth of money. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into tall grass. The grass goes up my nose and... <laughs> Why is there people letting a child out into the danger grass? Are Pokemon just that nice? Do you trust Pokemon with your children? Do you? Well, wild Pokemon, at least. We don't even trust children with wild dogs, or even normal dogs. People will go, this dog breed is inherently the devil. Because people are stupid. Well, uh, Night Fang, let's see if you can handle... This Poochiana. Raise your own attack. And now, kill him. Ah, now that's some good damage. Kill him. And all the experience is yours, little man. And we're going to see if you can survive one more goal. A level two. You are but a fool. Howl attack. Show your dominance like a T-pose. Granted, if I saw a dog T-posing, I would also be utterly horrified. I doubt that will be enough to level you up. And I knew it. Let's gamble with your life, little man. Let's gamble with your life. It's a Wurmple! Your life is preserved and saved! Howl at the bug. I do like the effect of like, oh, stat go up, stat go down. It just, it's, it looks nice. You might think you have speed, but you are a worm. You fool. I don't need to be fast. I just need to kill you. 
Yes. Yes. Suffer and die. Why three? I don't even think it stacks three times. I don't know the, like, actual efficient way of doing, like, debuffs and buffs in these games because I am a fool. Well, at least we have Night Fang to a not terrible degree. Like, not enough that I would have Night Fang hold out for us entirely on things. He wouldn't- he won't be our ace. That will forever be Shane. <laughs> but yeah, I think the main reason why I wanted to play, like, a normal Pokemon game again is because I've been playing a bunch of, uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus on my own time again. Because I streamed it, like, when it first came out. Hello, child, I'm gonna fuck up your face. Do you just become a trainer? We're both beginners! Yeah, and I'm still gonna kick your ass. Why are you so much younger than me and yet you're allowed to have Pokemon? I am not allowed- I wasn't allowed to have Pokemon until I was whatever this age is. Howl. Go- go move a castle. Well, I guess we're gonna get nowhere with that. I'm gonna attack you now. Well, we're here now. We're in this room. Brilliant, isn't it? You're a fool. You're a moron. Kill that fall. Kill the flash. Hmm, a Talo, huh? Let's go out and send. Uh, let's send out Butisha. So that Butisha can look at a flying type and go, oh dear god, and we can bring Butisha back and then throw out. Yeah, that shouldn't know any flying moves. Let's throw out Shane. <laughs> My worm looks up at the bird. It screams. Ah, uh, you growl at me. How does a bird growl? I'll leer at you. You growl. I leer. In the end, I can probably just use Absorb on you, even though I think that is ineffective. Kill it! Kill the bird! Of course you're a bird type. Flying types. You're just like, hey, hey, hey. I, I come pre-evolved. Is there a Pokemon that does come pre-evolved? This Pokemon has no evolved form because it's always its evolved form. I killed you. I called you because I thought I could beat you. And that's why you're a bitch. And no one loves you. Go to hell. To Orenberries, yes! They're mine now! And to Pekka Berries, they are mine now! Now I can cure poison, I think? Eh, not really. I don't care about berries. Petalburg City. And we have another trainer up ahead. I'm gonna go heal Night Fang again, and consider putting Butisha up, or maybe Z maybe Zoom, because we should level up Zoom since they're a normal type, so they're less likely to just get bodied. A flying type, less than half. Shane's level was able to. Do substantial damage. And we want to avoid that. Kill the wild. Kill the wild. Kill the wild. Fuck them up. Kill the wild. Kill the wild. Assert dominance. And now show them why that was a bad idea. Yes. Kill them. And that is why you are King God Universe Man. In fact, let's go ahead and have Night Fang level himself up.
Once again, raise your attack. And now kill. Be gone, wild animal. You have been beaten by the not wild animal. Ah, motherfucker. Fine, we're gonna go in, swap Shane in. Motherfucking Whirlpool. Hmm. I don't want to risk it. Shane, kill it. Because I have no revives. I have, I have no revives to cheese out experience gain in this game. Yeah, keep using String Shot. That'll save you. That'll shave you indeed. Now be gone, burn in a forest fire, little bug. How dare you survive, and why do you keep spitting string at me? Are you intending to be a euphemism? Be gone! And now Night Fang leveled up. Huzzah. And before we forget, we shall swap Night Fang out for Zoom. So Zoom can leech off of... Shane's achievements. I'm gonna keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. I'm gonna derail your career off into a ditch. While it is true that your Zigzagoon is better than my Zigzagoon, my Zigzagoon has a, uh, a sugar daddy in the form of uh, a Trico. You insipid fool. And now you're going to die. I see we are back in this room again. Die even harder. Keep doing that. It won't help you. You will not survive. Fuck, you survived. How dare you? My estimations were incorrect. It would have been hilarious if I said you will not survive again, and then he missed. But I didn't do that. We have to keep power leveling our beloved Pokemon. I mean, I guess we could just try. We can try. A critical hit. Damn you. At least you gave it your best shot. Why? He is a grass type, you buffoon. Kill him! Why? Why are you now suddenly using a type disadvantage move? Is it because y your shroomish is low on health? And you're like, quick, shroomish, recover your health. You're a buffoon, Tiana. I ended up furthering your career. I'm not even going to remember you. You are a nobody. Ah, Pokeball. I found a potion. Does that mean that somebody died here? Yay! Considering that all that knows is tackle attack, we will not let the deer zoom be annihilated. Heal yourself of the portable Pokemon Center that is that Poochiana. Heal again! It'll at least heal the damage that the Poochiana did to you. It not even did that. You had like two health left. You're pathetic. And now I think that this is... Yep, Petalburg. Where has our Wally gone? We have to leave for Verdanter of town very soon. Wally, I swear to God, if you catch a... 
Shiny Routes, I will murder you! Especially because I'm fairly certain it is impossible for a Routes to even spawn for me! When my Pokémon ate an Orin Berry, it regained HP! There are many types of Pokémon. All types have their strengths and weaknesses against each other. Depending on the type of Pokémon, a battle could be easy or hard. For example, your Trico is Grass-type. It's strong against Water and Ground-types, but it's weak against Fire-type Pokémon. That PC-based storage Pokémon system. Whoever made it must be some kind of scientific wizard. Hello, dude. Hello there, trainer. You got a wonderful smile there. I have a hobby, collecting the profiles of Pokemon trainers. So how about it? May I see your profile? Sh sure. Yes, thank you. So let's see it then. I am a Pokemon friend. I am Egg Egg. <laughs> That's one thing I could do. I am alone. I am awful. I am excellent Pokemon friend. Hmm, let's see what other things I can... Feelings. <laughs> Darn, defeated, disappointed, disappoints, dislike, downcast, eat. Why are there just so many words we can use? <laughs> I'm excellent Pokemon here! <laughs> yes. I'm excellent Pokemon here. F fantastic! Your profile is wonderful! It really says what you're about! Why, anyone hearing this profile would be captivated by you! Thank you! If you genuinely think that, you're a silly, silly man. Heal up my Pokemon. Because I still need to go and, like, train up my Pokemon some more before we get to the first gym. Then again, I think Petalburg is where my dad is. So I'm fairly certain that my dad will just kick my ass. <laughs> Either that, he'll be like, you're not ready yet. Go somewhere else. It would be fantastic if I, like, ran into a Routes. I would love a Routes early on. But I'd, sadly, I think that is just a scripted event. How come my growl attack only did not do much? Well, let's act like a wild Pokemon. Do it twice. This is becoming silly. I don't think it'll lower much more than that. I'm on the, uh, what's the word? I am better than you. Goodbye, fool. I won this wild Pokemon battle. I am the victor, not you. And now you know Tail Whip, which lowers defenses. Which basically counteracts their growl anyway. Well, now you're at five. We need to level up, Butisha. Come on, Butisha. You need to be leveled up so that we at least have some bug-type representation, I guess, until we replace you. Look, that's you, but better. How dare you get a critical hit on me? Kill the bug! Ha! Ah, sharing of critical hits against a level 4 Wurmple. A narrator comes by in a hot air balloon, looking down, saying, That's some hot action right there! Although it would be kind of cool if... 
there was, like, a very, very low chance for a Routes to appear for the player. But sadly, it is not available to us because the world is... Ah! Zoom found an item! We'll have to take a look at that! Did you find another nugget for us, Zoom? I highly doubt it. Zoom presents us with a normal gummy, and everyone asks, what is a normal gummy? Zoom eats the normal gummy and becomes a professor. This is the Pokemon professor, a professor who is a Pokemon. Not like those posers who are human! I forgot to check your item. Darn. I am the fool. This is what happens. I get a thought. My brain goes, I'll need to look at that. And then I never do. Because I am a fool. Kill the bug. Uh, okay, Shane has decided that he wants to kill the Wurmples. Good for you, Shane. You want to kill people. And that is an admirable trait. We'll level up Jack a little bit. We'll try to get him to level 5. Hmm. Let's see. Ghost type? Will that even work on Poochiana? It does. But it's very not a it's not effective. Interesting. Why do you only know Astonish and I forgot to check Zoom's item again? Turn that Poochiana into a portable health center. Devour its soul through grass. Goodbye, Poochiana. You are now dead. That's kind of... I don't understand why Lotad has only a ghost attack. I forget. Will that even work against you? Because I for I guess schmeckende, schmeggedy schmeck it in the face maybe. Of course it doesn't work. I forget my like confusion. I remember in Pokemon Crystal, I had a mini rant about the like. Interaction between normal and ghost, and I forget what my stance was again. Another critical hit. Shane is being a menace out in these woods. Well, I'm fairly certain that... Dear Father will not want us to fight him just yet. He wants to, probably will want to fight us... Once we are a legendary trainer, and have killed a few terrorists. And again, we'll try to... We'll begin leveling again once we're in a higher level area. Then again, I could maybe grind uh, Night Fang up a bit. And once again, I almost forgot about you. Take a super potion, Zoom. You are a darling. Well, we'll try to have, like, Zoom just be the one to fight things for a bit. Since it does knows nothing, use Growl. Well, since you uh, opened yourself up with that, let's also lower its defense. Aha, you don't hurt me at all. But I hurt you lots. That's a lot of experience. Fight me. Be appear before me. 
non-existent routes. I dare you. You're a coward, aren't you? I know it's not gonna exist. It doesn't exist. It's just... a dream. There has to be, like, a fan mod out there that's just, like... Routes spawn there. If Wally gets a routes, you get a routes. <laughs> If a Pokemon gives me the ability to do both, I shall do both at least once. Once again, I forget, like, the stages. Oh, well, I guess that's completely pointless. It only, it only does one point of damage anyway. I, I, I just mashed the button and accidentally did growl. I am now the wild Pokemon making stupid decisions up in here. I am the fool! Me! And it went three that time. How dare you? You hurt my soul with your variance of damage. It did one damage, then it did three, then it did two. Have some consistency in your life, you little monster! Don't you love people? I'm going to say that you don't. Now we're going to throw in Shane to mop up, get Zoom to level 6, potentially, probably not. Prepare for murder, Shane. That would be an amusing call out. A Pokemon trainer throws out their Pokemon. Kill them all! It's an electrode. It explodes. And since Shane is also close to leveling up, too, we'll go till one of them levels up. Come on, fight me. I'm doing a dance. I'm doing a jig. Come fight me. It's another low tad. Wait, that means it, it- that means it can do jack shit! Kill it! It can do jack shit! You're fucked! I'm the winner! You little water grass Pokemon that only knows a, a, a ghost move for some reason? Be gone into hell! Hmm. And of course we could maybe level up Jack a bit. Watch us run into a Zigzagoon. Then again, I think the only thing that... Y hey, look! Lotad, Lo Jack! It's the one Pokemon you can kill! Go ahead and growl at it so it does less damage. And now let's do Astonish and find out that, like, bug Pokemon are gods against ghosts or something. Kill it! Smack it! Astonish it! Why is that do so little damage? How dare it do little- This is a bug! Jack, you are fighting a bug! It's going to take all 15 astonishes to kill it! What is wrong with you? Is that string shot getting into your arteries? Why, Jack? Why is Astonish such a worthless move? Watch, on the last hit it'll be a crit. Darn, it wasn't a crit to hurt me. Have you learned anything, Jack? He has learned nothing! Ah, you found a new item? What is it? No, I, I forgot, man. Give me the item. An escape rope? <laughs> Who lost an escape rope out here? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll try and see. A 
And now we will throw out a Zagoon. No, not Zagoon. Uh, well, Night Fang. That's what I meant. My brain was elsewhere. We shall howl to increase our power. And then we will kill the Wormple. But yeah, I do forget. Like, I, I guess is Wormple one of those evolves at night, becomes one thing, evolves at day, becomes different thing? I think it might be. You just keep using string shot and it's doing like nothing to me. I'm already going second. Why aren't you pressing your advantage? It would be one thing if it was like permanent and your Pokemon could be like paralyzed for life because of string shot have you or a loved one been affected by string shot call the number down below today yeah i think we best heal and move on to greener pastures meet wally have the little brat catch a shiny and laugh at us although i don't think that if he catches a shiny routes it actually stays shiny even though it should that would be an interesting thing. And now we will talk to all the people that are here. Let's say you have six Pokemon. If you catch another one, it is automatically sent to a storage box over a PC connection. So we have teleportation. That's what you're saying. Limited, but still. Why are you a ghost? My face is reflected in the water. It's a shining grin full of hope. Or it could be a look of a somber silence struggling with fear. What do you see uh, reflected in your face? God. Hello, old man. Traveling is wonderful. When I was young, I roamed the seas and the mountains. Ah, I wish I could go on an adventure with some Pokemon. I think Whirlpool evolves based on some hidden value which you can't check. That's hilarious. Crawl through some uh, damp grass, climb rocky, rugged mountains across the raging seas, wander about dark caves, and sometimes even get a little homesick. It must be a fabulous to travel. <laughs> Hi, by the way, and hello to you too. But that would be funny because all other, like, speci uh, spe spe uh, specified evolutions, like, again, have a specified evolution. It would be hilarious if it was just random. Norman became our town's new gym leader. I think he called his family over from somewhere far away. I battled Norman once, but who? He was way too strong. How could I put it? I just got the feeling that he lives for Pokemon. Wait, well, yeah, it's just like Eevee, if leveled up, it becomes either Espeon or Umbreon. But then, like, let's throw in RNG! Jim. Petalburg City Jim. Leader Norman. A man in pursuit of power. Are you home? Are you here? Hello, Dad. Hmm? Well, if it isn't Neon. So you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. But I guess you're gonna become a trainer like me, Neon. That's great news! I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I... I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm? You're... Uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right? That'd be kind of cool, but also a little bit annoying if we were trying to get for a specific Evo. Yeah, it's one of those things that the RNG would make it interesting, but after a while it would become frustrating. Unless you just got lucky. Or if there was, like, a specific thing down the line that you could do to nullify the RNG. So it's, like, RNG for, like, half the game, but then you get a specific thing to nullify the RNG. So you get the experience, but then you get the choice. Maybe. I don't know. It's a half measure, but who knows? Uh, Mama, w I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Verdanturf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Neon, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Received a Zigzagoon. Oh, well, wow, Pokemon. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it! Wally received a Pokeball! Wow, thank you! Neon, would you really come with me? I remember the funny joke post of somebody raging that 
in there teaching Wally how to catch a Pokemon, he got a shiny Ralts. Neon, Pokemon hide in tall grass like this. I've been fighting them for like an hour, yes, I know. Don't they? Ah, so he's positing it as a question. My sorry. Text box betrayed your words. Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! Gaze upon the impossible routes. It does not exist for me. Wah! Go, Zigzagoon. Oh, I get... Oh, I would be hilarious if I could control it. It's like, I'm gonna sabotage Wally. I'm going to make it so he's alone forever. If that had happened to me, I would have lost it. My shiny luck has been really poor recently. I can only imagine. It just... <laughs> And the funny thing is, if I remember the post, I think it said that, like, it doesn't even matter if he catches a shiny Ralts, it just comes out as normal when you find him later. If that is my memory. It's been a long time since I saw that post. And I don't know the mechanics of Pokemon very well. But I want a Ralts. Routes and its evolutions are wonderful, and it would be very cool to play through the entire game with one. Your privilege knows no bounds, Wally! I did it. It's my... my Pokémon. Neon, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Through teleportation. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokémon back. Neon, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokémon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, Mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Neon. Now, Neon, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboard City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go to, in to an other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader, too. We'll battle one day, Neon. But that's only after you become stronger. I can't believe my dad called me a weak little bitch. Hiya, are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. That's not what I did. I got to the first Pokemon Center and did a little jig. Wally's house. I'm gonna break in. You're, ah, uh, you must be Neon, right? Thank you for playing with Wally a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We've sent him to stay with his relatives in Verdanturf Town for a while. The air's a lot cleaner there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's already left. Our Wally, I wonder where he could have gotten to by now. Have you played any Hoenn-based game before? Uh, or is this the first one? If you mean if I've played, like, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega, and... Alpha? No, I have not. I think I played a little bit of the beginning of this game a long time ago, but I have never gotten anywhere substantial. Technically, I guess you could say that I did play the third generation Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, but that's not really in the same category. But no, this is my first time playing the third generation of Pokemon. I've already played through Yellow and Crystal, so I was like, yeah, let's go and poke a marathon a bit. Well, he was really happy when he told us that he caught a Pokemon. It's been ages since I've seen him smile like that. Well, I guess... Who are you? Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken up your time. Asshole! Walk up to me, ask an ignorant question, and then insult me with your ignorance? You bastard! If you're going to throw a Pokeball, weaken the wild Pokemon first. It'll be easier to catch if it's been poisoned, burned, or lulled to sleep. Sociopath words is what I hear from you. Oh no, I'm not a trainer. But that's right, if trainers lock eyes, it's a challenge to battle. If you don't want to battle, stay out of their sight. Play hide and seek with Pokemon trainers. Fight me! Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun! Well, don't worry. After this, nobody will be able to find yours! Come on, little Billy. I'm going to kill you. Of course, we're going to have to swap you out because... Ha-ha! You have Astonish! And that's... 
<laughs> I don't even know why you have Astonish. You're a grass water type. Maybe it's something that happens with your evolution later. I don't know Lotad all that well. Kill the Zigzagoon. Leer at it a little bit. Soften it up. With your eyes! Really, you think petting it would... Well, damn. I guess this is a defense rush, eh? Kill him! I love Hoenn. Sapphire was my first Pokemon game, and I have very fond memories of it in the region. Like, hmm, I'm trying to remember. I think, like, the... Hmm, I forget what season of the Pokemon anime was, like, airing for me way, way back. I think it might have been the third generation anime, but I forget. It's like, whoa. But I forget, it's, I forget everything. My memories are fraying at the, at the, the. We'll send out Butisha so Butisha can level up a little bit, siphon off some experience. But my first Pokemon game was a mix because I got both Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Gold at the same time, well after they had come out. And uh, I liked them a lot, so then my next Pokemon game was Pokemon Pearl, which then later got upgraded to Platinum because I love Generation. I think four it is. Sinnoh is a wonderful. Sinnoh is just grand. Well, you're a little nightmare, aren't you? Get him! Night Fang, you need to annihilate this walking seed before it can get anywhere. Ah, that's my first missed move. That's not good at all. But then after I beat Platinum, I th I think I tried uh, a bit of Pokemon... Oh, that's, <laughs> that's not good at all. Bide is a nightmare move. I probably should have just... Hmm. I probably... Wait. You probably only have three moves, don't you? You only know Bide! You only know Bide, you fool. Which means... Don't miss! Yeah, Sinnoh is probably in my top three regions, but I'm really burned out on it lately. Played it too much. That's understandable. Meanwhile, I was like, hell yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus takes place in Sinnoh's Pass. Ha ha ha! Like, no joke, I think Pokemon Legends Arceus might be... Like, when it comes to semi-mainline Pokemon games, Legends Arceus might be my favorite one. But Pokemon Mystery Dungeon will forever be in my heart, mainly because it's the first game to make me cry. Wah! I got sand in my runners! They're all gritty! I guess you could say that sand is coarse, rough, and gets everywhere. Idiot child. You fool. You meringue. But yeah, that bide was scary. Gonna wander on the beach. I fished up a tough looking Pokemon. It has this magical quality to it. It surely looks tough. Yes, it does. Let me guess. It's a Magikarp. Reveal unto me your Magikarp. Please, Fisherman Darien. It's a magic- It's a level 9 Magikarp! I hope it only knows Splash! But I'm not gonna risk you. Uh, I guess go Shane. You can partake in the level up as well. I've been meaning to play Mystery Dungeon for the longest time, but I've never gotten around to it. I've learned it's wor uh, worth it from others, though. It is just magical. I love it. I would- Hmm. It's just my own personal preference with how I play games, but- I would recommend starting from the beginning with um, Blue Rescue Team, because, just because, really. It's the first one so that you don't get spoiled by later games, like, evolutions and changes, and you can, like, follow the series. But I think the consensus is the second Mystery Dungeons, and, well, it's third, the third version of the second Mystery Dungeon game, Explorers of Sky is the best, so I guess you could always start there. The characterization of the, of the the characters are much better. Then they changed things with Gates to Infinity, but I haven't played it yet. 
but I do hear that it is a cult classic among the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, and it just got a lot of flack for the changes it's made to the series, rather than its, like, quality as a game and its story. And I forget the overall reaction to Super Mystery Dungeon. It's been a long time. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Cold, dark, and uh, dead. I would assume. We're gonna go heal up our Pokemon and do things. <laughs> and funnily enough, speaking on the Mystery Dungeon, I only just recently beat, like, it quote-unquote fully. Because technically, to beat it fully, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. But for me, I basically did all of the story stuff, including the post-game. And the post-game story stuff, it was the first time that I beat it. And I beat it on stream. I even teared up a bit uh, back there. With the n final story bits. It's basic, but it's good. Well, let's see what random Pokemon there are out here. Ooh! A Meryl, huh? Jack, I think you've been replaced. Why are you so weak? I guess that's the bonus of Astonish. It can do that. But also, the enemy Pokemon can do that. Defense curl, huh? It won't save you. Don't use Absorb. It would die. We're gonna catch you. Good. Now, Shane, whatever you do, do not get a critical hit here. I want this, Meryl. I think I've seen the final moments of Explorers of Sky, unfortunately, if I remember correctly. I love the music that plays during one part. The music in the Mystery Dungeon games are fantastic. So far, my favorite, like, uh, song from it is Fugitives Run Away. I also very much enjoy the diddly dee that uh, last time, or like one time when I went to like uh, listen to it, there was a comment that's like, I made lyrics to go along with the song, and it's just so good. Meryl, Aqua Mouse Pokemon. Its body is covered with water repellent fur. Because of the fur, it can swim through water at high speed without being slowed by the water's resistance. Now, what shall we call you? Hmm. Eh, why not? We're gonna call you Archie. I just think it's fitting. And now we have a proper water type! Well, since we're probably gonna be replacing Jack with Meryl, Archie... I guess let's try and level up Zoom. Doot, 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 doot. A Wingle! Hmm. Well, I think we also found a replacement for Beauticia. I love listening to Don't Ever Forget from Explorers of Sky. So emotional. The music's just so good. Although I will say, I will be completely honest, that's the moment I've been spoiled on. It has been forever since I played Explorers, so a lot of it is just gone from my mind. That's why I can't wait to play it again. Well, technically not Explorers of Sky technically. It's a, like, fan mod that changes some quality of life stuff, adds a few Pokemon from later games. So I'm just like, eh, <laughs> I'll play that. And plus, once again, never played the special episodes and never played the post-game. Wingull, the seagull Pokemon. Once again implying that seagulls exist in the Pokemon world. It makes its nest on a sheer cliff at the edge of the sea. It has trouble keeping its wings flapping in flight. Instead, it soars on updrafts. Now, what should we call you? Wait. I know exactly what to call you. I was gonna call him Bill, but then I had an idea. You are Popeye. Popeye the Sailor Man! Da -da. 
But yeah, it's been forever since I played Explorers of Sky, so... Aside from major story beats, and also I... <laughs> back then, I didn't... I don't even remember the name of the songs that played. So I don't even know the moment you're talking about. All I know is that there are many emotional moments in it. Especially the post-game. Ah, the post-game that I never played. Oh, Beautisha, you've been replaced. <laughs> Continue <laughs> operations? No, I want to leave. And we shall withdraw single. Up by the sailor bird. And now, once again, I am reminded of my errant brain just going, Hey, you should draw more so that you can eventually create that Pokemon Legends Arceus-inspired Mystery Dungeon fan game where Emmett gets thrown into the Hisui Pokemon Mystery Dungeon instead of normal Hisui so the brothers can be split apart eternally, both temporally and physically, spatially. It is thematically worthy. But that also means making lots of drawings and then again I do yeah, that's why I need to draw more. Become more skilled. Level up my skills. I think the song I'm thinking of is from the ending scene. It also depends on which ending scene, because there's the main story ending scene, and then there's the like, post-game ending scene, I assume. Because the story, especially the post-game story of Explorers, is vastly more robust than a uh, Blue Rescue Team. But that's also why I uh, kind of recommend playing Blue Rescue Team before Explorers, because while it is simpler, it has that kind of... What's the word I'm trying to think of? Ethereal just fullness to it, where everything is simple, yes, but that's kind of the charm. You silly Meryl, you are going to die. Not by the hand of Zoom, because I fear your power, but instead by the hand of Nightfang. Go, Nightfang! Kill the ball! I don't think you need to howl. Yes, I don't think you need to howl. It is a fool to try and fight you. It thinks it is strong, but it is weak. And now it is scared, longing for defense. <laughs> no, it won't save it. Goodbye, Meryl. Although I sense since Zoom is damaged, we shall send out a night fang. I just enjoy the Pokemon games. They're just so nice. Oftentimes simple, but nice. Although I really do wish that they, like, uh, did a proper Pokemon Mystery Dungeon anime. I know that I think, I think they did some OVAs, maybe a special or two, but, like, a full anime. Chock full of emotion it would be grand, I dare say. I just think it would be wonderful. Hmm. Just trying to think. Do I want to level up? Or if I want to move on? I guess we could. Hmm. Archie, we will give you a chance to show your might and probably throw out Shane to save you. Oh no, it's a level 5 Mighty Ena. Don't die. Hmm. We'll do a defense curl. As I knew it would do that. And now lay on the attack, beat him up. 
Oh no. You are kind of even, but kind of not. Please still be even, Steven. You are no longer even, Steven. But maybe we can try. We can try to keep ahead of him. It has weakened itself. Kill it now. Annihilate him. The fool is dead. And he got a decent chunk of experience for it. Yay. Eh, well, there's no way we'll do that. I'll have to play the Mystery Dungeons, but I probably have to finish Link to the Past first so I don't forget stuff. That's a mood. Far too often do I just run from game to game. My brain goes, I want to replay the Mass Effect trilogy. And then it goes, now I want to play Legends Arceus again. Now I want to play Breath of the Wild. It just keeps going and 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 it just never ends. I wonder what item you have found, Zoom. Is it another nugget? That was the first item that Zoom <laughs> discovered for us. The utter mad lad. Mad lady. Your energy has been drained. You will die alone, Wingle. But at this point, I think it would be interesting if, like, they explored more Pokemon worlds like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. What if there was, like, an action, like a 3D action game based in the world of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? Less roguelike and uh, turn-based and more action. Devil May Cry stuff. I think that would be interesting. But also that requires the Pokemon company going, Hey, other development team from probably outside the Pokemon team, would you like to do stuff? But yeah, <laughs> jumping back, I do forget things a lot. Like I just forgot to check what Zoom's... Oh, a Talo? You are mine! I will have you! We have a replacement for Jack. How dare you peck my boy. My girl, Archie. Defense curl. Well, he picked the perfect time for that. <laughs> and now I'm just once again reminded where it's just like I look at the uh, the experience bar and my brain just whispers, Hey, remember how Legends Arceus gives you experience for <laughs> capturing Pokemon? Wouldn't that be magical if it were truly here? Of course, Archie missed an attack. How dare you? You bring shame upon this family. Let's go crazy. Throw a Pokeball. See if magic happens. Probably won't. You will be mine. You will be mine. You will be mine? Ah, it's mine. Huzzah! Tilo, the tiny swallow Pokemon. Although it is small, it is very courageous. It will take on a larger skarmory on equal footing. However, its will weakens if it becomes hungry. I think that's just most things. What should your name be? Hmm. I think I have an idea. You will be... Well, I'm a fool, apparently. I didn't select things properly. Could have, sw could have sworn that I did. Your name... will be Nickel. And now we will swap out Jack, and I suppose we will just continue on. To other places. And once we're deeper into more... like leveled up areas we will do more effective leveling up that's brave from uh Talo talos <laughs> going up against the big metal birds all it apparently is a courageous pokemon 
It looks at a big thing and says, I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna take its lunch money. Then again, considering all the birds in real life that do basically the exact same thing, not surprising. They're just like, I, I'm the biggest, baddest thing here, even though I'm a tiny little bird. You will respect my authority or die. Well, let's see. I forgot again about your item. No, I don't want to switch you. I want to look at your item. Give. No, I don't want to give. I want you to give to me. A you found a great ball? Arch, <laughs> zoom. Jesus. Archie out here just being like, I am <laughs> just your your greatest friend. It is a sad day when we have to use tactics against wild Pokemon. At least I don't have to worry about it using Howl because it's level 4. It doesn't know Howl yet. It does not know of the moving castle. Kill it! Kill it now, Archie! Flood its world! Blot out the sun! Yay, and Archie has leveled up. Good for you. And you learn Tail Whip! Through the power of living, Archie has realized she can use her tail for more than just balance. She can use it for seduction! The seaside cottage is where Mr. Briny lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. So the real life, Popeye. Well, fuck, he's gone. Guess he's dead. Ah, berries. Give them to me. Give to me, Orin Berry. I take your soul and your stock. Like, I guess I su suppose that I could plant a peck of just pe various berries now. You want to fight me, lady? You want to die? We must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? <laughs> You're going to suffer. But you are quite a dapper lady, aren't you? A level 7 zigzagoon. I doubt you that you will survive, but water gun! We will give you a chance, Popeye. You might have a chance if it doesn't do much damage. Growl at it as well. Because if you kill it, you get major bonus to your experience. It's like a bonus of life. Kill it. It just... Lady Cindy, I think you need better tactics. You're already at half health. Does your Zigzagoon even carry an Orin Berry to warrant this attempt at shenanigans? Even I not under... You! I'm Lady Cindy. I am, I am rich and can full restore a level 7 Pokemon. A normal potion probably would have done the job, Cindy! <laughs> and a critical hit. Popeye has killed the... She has not attacked me once. You are a fool. Was your Zigzagoon putting on interpretive dance and song? You are ridiculous! Oh my! But at least I got a lot of money from you. What is wrong with you? Hello is the beginning of goodbye. I hope we meet again. What does that even mean? Meeting people is also say knowing that they will leave? What's all what's wrong with you?
another Taylor. Go, Popeye. Fuck up its day. Call it a bitch. You can focus your energy all that you want, but it will not save you. Kill. Yes, now we're getting to the point where m most of my Pokemon can actually train themselves. The hilarious moment once this random Talo, three levels lower, did more than Cindy's level 7 Zigzagoon. Cindy, you are a fool. And Zoom is now bibbidi ba. Zoom, what do you have today? A potion. Very nice. Well, let's go ahead and go into the forest. Petalburg Woods. Trainer tips. Any Pokemon that appears even once in battle is awarded experience points. To raise a weak Pokemon, put it at the left of the team list. As soon as a battle starts, switch it out. It'll earn experience points without being exposed to any harm. Is a very good tip. And even though I already know it, maybe not everyone does. Well, I already have a grass type, so go ahead and kill this one. We'll get another one later. How dare you. Too bad you didn't heal yourself too much now, did ya, you little shroom man? Then again, if I remember correctly, your evolution is actually pretty cool looking. But I already have a grass type. And I am not foolish enough to want to be a monotype. Sometimes there are things on the ground even if you can't see them. That's why I always check where I'm walking. I saw that you picked Trico. That was my first Pokemon ever, and I still have him in home to this day. Amazing! The main reason I went with uh, Trico myself is because he was my first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon partner. So I'm just like, Shane forever when it comes to Generation 3. As well as the fact that when the Pokemon anime was airing on, like, normal TV for me, uh, I remember Ash's Grovile. Grovile! And the fact that it had, like, like a Wester... It had, like, a, a leaf stalk in its mouth the entire time, looking cool and dapper. I would say more, but there, there is spoilers for a certain Pokemon game that I do not wish to spoil. You're a thief if you try to steal someone's Pokemon. You should throw Pokeballs only at wild Pokemon. That would be kind of cool if there was, like, a Team Rocket official Pokemon game. And you could even market it as being a super-duper hard game. Because, like, you're a criminal, so... <laughs> Pokemon GTA win? I think it would be fantastic. Well, actually, we probably shouldn't send you out because, uh, uh, you would get annihilated in here, dear Popeye. Oh, there's actually one game where you can catch trainers Pokemon fully enough. Isn't that Pokemon Gale of Darkness? I think that's, uh, I do remember that one. That is also on my list to maybe play eventually, but I keep forgetting. Well, Shroomish. I think that I will catch you uh, for posterity's sake for anything. And that was the most pathetic uh, uh, critical hit that I've ever seen. You are a fool. You are pathetic. Now, uh, 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 well, uh, die. Although that would actually be a, like, a more, like, on-brand thing if they did another Pokemon game. Yeah, either XD, Gale, of, or Colosseum. Can't remember which. Maybe both. Shroomish. Mushroom Pokemon. It loves to eat damp, compo uh, composted soil in forest. Forest in forests. If you enter a forest after a long rain, you can see many Shroomish feasting on composted soil. Hmm. Your name is Dude. You just seem like a dude. 
But yeah, I think they should make more games like Gale of Darkness and or Colosseum. Where it's just like, you're the player character and you're out there saving innocent Pokemon from bad trainers. But then that would just make people go once again, I want to be the villain who takes innocent people's Pokemon. Like, imagine if it, like, was the most difficult Pokemon game ever, because you're playing the evil guy. And, like, at the end of the game, everybody has come back uh, to fight you, to get their Pokemon back and save people. I got a whole bunch of Pokemon! Go, go, go! My bug Pokemon team! I'm afraid to say, but you are not Alder. You cannot use bug Pokemon to win the day, and Jesus Christ, you do have a- But they're all gonna be, like, super low level, aren't they? I will take this opportunity to just annihilate you for your hubris. You fool. But yeah, like, if you- To complete my thought, if there was a game where you played as the villain who captures innocent people's Pokemon, then at the end of the game, it was like a super marathon. Where you have to beat everybody you've stolen Pokemon from again. And- only if you beat everybody do you get the golden you are the evil bastard empire ending. I won't lie, I did that when I played it. I saw a Pokemon on a, uh, on a trainer that I wanted and took it. <laughs> well, since he's sending out a bunch of Wurmple that are low level, let's send out the boy! Popeye the Sailor Bird. I forgot to heal him, fuck. Kill the low-level little bastard. Well, first growl, then kill the little bastard. Assert dominance, then kill. <laughs> but what if that was, like, a thing that, like, a, like a hidden mechanic in a Pokemon game? Where it's a normal Pokemon game, but you can throw Pokeballs at other people's Pokemon and capture them. And the, then depending on how many times you do that throughout the game, that affects, like, a certain hidden thing that can happen. And I think that, like, that might be interesting. That could be cool. That would be pretty neat. Of course, it's the Pokemon company, and they'll, they'll, they'll never do that. The day that there's, like, an official Pokemon game with, like, <laughs> cursing in it, a, a Pokemon character says, damn, the world will fall apart. Arceus itself will come down and smite us. I do even miss your specialty move, little Wurmple. You are going to die. You are the most aggressive Wurmple. Why are you the most aggressive Wurmple? Is there anybody else we want to send in? Zoom, you're healthy. Kill. Time for murder. Time for kill. Like a Hidden Karma Honors stat, like Red Dead, if you've played that. I, I've heard of that, I think. But I was more thinking like... Like, it's definitely kind of like... M more like a... Paragon Renegade system, where it's your reputation. If you steal only, like, a handful of people's Pokemon, and they're, like, low-level nobodies, well, people might not believe them. But then, if you steal from too many people, or high-level people, high-ranking and known people, then your reputation might take a dive. And things might become more difficult, certain options might be... Basically, Mass Effect Pokemon, I suppose. <laughs> Morality system Pokemon up in here. I have all these Pokemon, but I couldn't win. You replay the game again. You get here. He has a hundred Pokemon. I have an army. Fear me. <laughs> that would also be interesting. A Pokemon game where there is no... Like, limit on the... Well, m m there's still need a, a limit because people would go crazy, but... Alleviate the limit of Pokemon you can carry with you. That might be interesting. Let us be like Alder. 
carry all our Pokemon around. Have our Pokemon ambush travelers on the road. I'm going to head back to town to heal my Pokemon. And then I will run through again. I will avoid the grass because I want to get to healing my Pokemon. I do like that the game gives you the running shoes right off the bat. They're like, here, move faster. Isn't this grand? Don't you like to run? Feel the air on your skin? As opposed to the not air as you suffocate and die? But now I wonder how many... Well, first off, my thought is, I wonder what the first Pokemon Creepypasta was. And then I wonder how many Pokemon Creepypastas there are. And then I wonder how many of them have been turned into fan games. <laughs> the answer is lots, lots, lots. Do, 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 do. Kill this mushroom. It stands in our way. It does not deserve peace. Nickel will save the day by killing all the grass. Killing all the bugs. It will become king of the land. It's probably something with Lavender Town, if I'm guessing. Maybe, but it's hard to tell with hindsight. Because... We know how everyone thinks of Lavender Town now, but when it was just, like, at the beginning, who knows what anybody thought of the game and stuff. Like, for all we know, Pokemon Ghost version could have been the first creepypasta on the playground, somebody saying, Did you know that there's a version of Pokemon where you can kill your opponent's Pokemon? And, and then at the end, it kills you. Something like that. It was a wild world back in the day. Like, L is real for Mario 64, but that wasn't really a creepypasta. That was just a playground rumor. But just who knows? Because it's, it's just very hard to parse, like, what the past and beginning of really old fandoms are. Because certain things get codified as time goes on, so people are like, Oh, yeah, that's obvious. But who knows exactly when, like, Lavender Town sickness of like, Oh, p there were children... And they heard the Lavender Town theme, and they went insane and hurt themselves. Like who know when that? Who knows when that actually was whispered about? When that began? It's been so long that it's entirely possible that so many of the classical Pokemon creepy stuff and rumors and such were at the time recent additions to the lore do, do, do. and that also makes me wonder when the like first iteration of like hmm, what happened to blues slash Gary's eradicate went around. Yeah, that's true. I wasn't even alive back when Red and Blue released. I forget. I probably also wasn't. I was... Ev I think I was born around its American release, but I completely forget. Huh? Who are you? Hmm, not a one to be found. Hello, have you seen any Pokemon called Shroomish around here? I really love that Pokemon. I was gonna ambush you. But you had to dawdle in Petalburg Woods forever, didn't you? I got sick of waiting, so here I am! You, Devin Reese, You, Devin Researcher, hand over those papers. Hey! You're a Pokemon trader, aren't you? You've got to help me, please! Huh? What do you think you're doing? 
What, you're gonna protect him? No one who crosses Team Aqua gets any mercy. Not even a kid. Come on, and battle me! Okay, that's a cool transition. Let me guess, you're gonna have some level... You have one Pokemon. It's a level 9, I'll give you that, but dude... One? I'm going to annihilate you. Leer, stare at it intently. <laughs> Shane, leer at that Poochiana. Uh, it gives him uh, the smolder. Well, if, you're all, if you're just going to use status moves, you're a fool. Two sand attacks. Will I actually miss? Due to my hubris? Probably will. My hubris has come to call. There is a reason my my opening move in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was Sand Attack. Even though it mostly didn't really... I think it missed... My my Sand Attacks usually missed more than the, the, the Pokemon that were actually hit. Really nice of them to send a grunt with only one pooch. You're kidding me! You're tough! No, you're weak. There is a difference. Uh, you've got some nerve meddling with Team Aqua! Come on and battle me again! I wish I could say that, but I'm out of Pokemon. And hey, we of Team Aqua are also after something in Rustboro. I'll let you go today. Ooh, that was awfully close. Thanks to you, he didn't rob me of these important papers. I know, I'll give you a great ball as my thanks. Con congrats, research man. You ha are effectively like my Zigzagoon. Didn't that Team Aqua thug say they were after something in Rustboro, too? Uh-oh, it's a crisis! I can't be wasting time! That is some weird man. I'll try to get all my Pokemon to level 8. If possible. Not a hard rule. But it's just like, uh, I want to do it. We show my I want. So that my Pokemon can eventually get along and uh, do their own annihilations. Kill that shroom. Annihilate him. Slaughter his family. My brain just went, what if the Pokemon company saw all of the edgy and kind of stupid... Uh, Pokemon ripoffs. They're like, ah, it's Pokemon. And then there are guns! And then, like, Pokemon Company goes, ah, what if we made a PG 13 slash, like, low level rated M Pokemon game? Would be stupid, but I think it would be interesting. Don't you dare poison my Archie. You fuck. I told you not to do it, and here you are, you did it! You motherfucker! This is the most hyper-aggressive worm I have seen. Oh great, we're gonna have to bring in the cavalry. Especially because you're being hurt by poison. Popeye, kill! And now you use String Shot. You jerk. Spit on him! Drown the worm! Don't you dare. Would be very annoyed to run into the Wormple with the 100% accuracy or 100% guarantee to poison attack. Now I have to go heal my Pokemon. As it just... Yeah, fucking gets annihilated by field poison. We must run all the way back to town. <laughs> Would be amusing if there was like... 
the perspective of our father as he just sees their their progeny running back and forth to the forest, to the <laughs> Pokemon Center, to the forest, to the Pokemon Center. And he's just like, what is going on with my child, I wonder? Shall I help? No. They need to learn the Pokemon experience themselves. I'm gonna come murder all of you. All you bugs. <laughs> So far, this is just like a very... This is indeed Pokemon. Very nice and fun. I don't think that you have poison on your side. Kill it. Murder it. Destroy it and its family. Ah, shit. <laughs> the world is cruel! The world is made of nightmares! I would like to see the Pokemon Company branch out from standard Pokemon gameplay, like Arceus and a bit like Scarlet Violet, but they're playing it really safe because their formula works. That's why I want them to, like, continue making the mainline Pokemon games. They themselves can do that. But then they really need to reach out to more companies to make more, like, Pokemon spin-off games. Like... A, like, reach out to companies, make more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Make a different kind of, like, gameplay style, but, like, set in a pre-existing Pokemon world. I guess I'll run back and just heal the poison, because he's probably going to die anyway. It's less about, oh, I'm going to level him up more and more, just I want him to be able to be able to do things if I want him to. But yeah, I just think it would be interesting if, yeah, like, more companies got in on the action got reached out to. Like, again, an action 3D game that's set in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe. Where, like, yeah, Mystery Dungeons could be levels. And you could just go through them. Fighting entire armies of Pokemon. I just think it would be interesting. There, there's just so many things you can do. Gameplay-wise, even story-wise. Story with Pokemon. But yeah, they just play it safe. Which is disappointing. But that's why, again, I feel like they can play it safe with the main line, but then do crazy stuff with spin-offs. Or pseudo-spin-offs, because technically, Pokemon Legends... I have not... I did not expect to see you here! I think you're just a normal type, but... Uh, Archie, stop fucking around. I doubt I'll use you. Archie, why? Fine. Zigzagoon. You missed twice, you are replaced. You bastard. Smack it hard. Loaf around more. You bitch. Where was I? But yeah, it's just like, it's kind of funny because like Pokemon Legends Arceus and even uh, like uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are considered mainline games, even though they change things up, especially Legends Arceus, and I almost annihilated the slack off. The slack off is me right now. It's 2 a.m. over there. <laughs> Jesus. Well, d don't ruin your sleep schedule on my account. Do indeed care for yourself, even though I definitely... Uh, get the, ooh, I'm engrossed in thing. I shall uh, continue with this entertainment. And then it's like three in the morning. Slack off, slacker Pokemon. It sleeps virtually all day and night long. It doesn't change its nest its entire life, but it sometimes travels great distances by swimming in rivers. Uh, I don't feel like giving you a nickname, sorry. We can probably change that later when we find the renamer. But, yeah, for me, sometimes I'll just be laying in bed and I'll find, like, a fan fiction, and I'll be like, oh, I'll just read a few chapters. It's three hours later. I've been reading a lot of Pokemon Legends Arceus fan fiction because 
<laughs> brain has that habit of, I play the game, then I get engrossed in the game, then I want more of the game, so I read its TV tropes, then I expend all of its TV tropes, and then I <laughs> look to the fan fiction to experience more of the thing that I like. So far, pretty much every single fan fiction about Legends Arceus that is, like, at the top of the view listings revolve around Ingo to some degree. And I love that. It's hilarious. Once again, the funny train man was apparently a fan favorite. So they sent him to the past with amnesia. And that only served to make him even more of a fan favorite. It's just hilarious to me. And again, that's why to call back to my brain telling me to make a Hisui-based Mystery Dungeon fan game is because I would be hilarious if Emmett got thrown into the Mystery Dungeon universe as a Sneasel. He doesn't even know why he is a Sneasel. The universe just thinks it's funny, and it's because it's me. I am the universe. I am one, I am all, and I am also you. So give me your leg. And all that glorious experience. Supersonic, now I can annoy people with confusion. Now I can be the annoying bastard. And what item doth thy have today, Zoom? Antidote! <laughs> Zoom is trying to help me. You don't want to fight? You there! Your Pokemon doing okay? If your Pokemon are weak and you want to avoid battles, you should stay out of tall grass. No shit, you little man. Do you think me a fool? Do you think me a meringue? I am understanding of the universe. Hmm, growl. And then kill. How dare the shroom tackle me. Tackle the shroom backle. Shit. Please, tackle me again or something. You bastard. Why is the mushroom mean to my dog? <laughs> Critical hit made up for everything, I guess. And now the mushroom is even madder. Please don't give the mushroom a critical hit. That would just be mean. Live! Don't miss! You did it, Zoom. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Man, I wish Scarlet Violet took more gameplay mechanics from Arceus, because that was a breath of fresh air from the standard Pokémon. Indeed! Because it basically changed everything. Like, Overworld Catching, for example, yeah. Basically, every single aspect of Pokemon was touched in Legends Arceus. How you battle, how you catch, just every single point was altered. And it just was grand. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you get to be instantly popular. I don't think that's true, small child. You are a fool. Then again, to be fair, more than likely, Legends Arceus was probably in development at the same time as Scarlet and Violet. So, it, and plus it could also, and well, with that, along with the fact that they were probably looking at Legends Arceus to be a bit of a test case, to be like, let's see how people like how Legends Arceus goes. And then they'll go from there. It'll be really interesting to see what the next Pokemon game is like. Like the, ne the next mainline one. It'll be very interesting to see. Okay, good job. Critical hit, not good night, Fang. Does this Nincada only know Harden? 
Apparently has high evasion for all the hardening that it's doing. Jesus. No and no scratch. Why was it only using hardening? You are an odd little child. Hmm. I shall send out Zoom, then swap out Zoom so Zoom can get more experience. <laughs> Zoom, on their last legs, they look up. It's a Nincada. You know what? I'm gonna be mean. You are mean to me by doing all that hardening nickel. Kill the bastard. I always think that a mixture of Arceus and Scarlet Violet would be one of the greatest Pokemon games. I've yet to play Scarlet Violet. It is on my list to eventually get to, but also that is pretty much most Pokemon games at this point that I have not played. But I do hear that there's a lot to like about Scarlet and Violet. So, can't wait to give it a shot. And again, it will be very interesting to see if the next game after Scarlet and Violet take after Legends Arceus. Or, you know what? If there was just a, a sequel to Legends Arceus. Like, I don't know. Legends Rayquaza or something. I don't know how it would work because... Because <laughs> on the one hand, I myself would not mind if it was just a straight up isekai again. But I could see some people going... I forgot, I skipped over a thing. In addition to hit points, Pokemon have power points that are used. Yeah, we already know that must be taken to a Pokemon Center. I cannot cut this down. But yeah, it because I I personally would not mind if the next Pokemon game was an Isekai once again. But I just know that or like the next like Legends Arceus type game was an Isekai again. But you just know that people would go, "Oh my god, I can't believe that they're becoming so stale and predictable with this." Even though it's like the second time they've done it, unless you count the Mystery Dungeon games. I like filling my mouth with seeds. Okay, then. Then spitting them out fast. You can have this, so try it out. Use it on a Pokemon and will learn a move for firing seeds rapidly. Hey, Shane, your favorite move's back. <laughs> no, but seriously. Bullet Seed was indeed Shay my partner's best move. Jane, annihilate people. Yes, what shall we delete? Hmm. I won't really use Quick Attack all that much, and I don't want to get rid of Leer or Absorb. It's like the world was destined to have Bullet Seed used. I wonder what that building's for. And now I'm suddenly reminded that I would really love if there was a Digimon game that was basically in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Not in, like, direct gameplay, but in, like, a human becomes a Digimon. And not just, like, oh, hiddledy-piddledy. They, the humans can digivolve. No, I mean, human gets thrown into a digital portal that, like, changes their human file extension to that of Dotmon, and they become a Digimon. I would like a Legends game set in ancient Johto, because Johto seems to have lots of history as well. Imagine if you play through the time where the one tower gets burned down, and the creation of the... Legendary dogs happens before your very eyes. You can deal with- Celebi! Celebi can be the one to bring you there! It's not even a destined thing, it's just lol, the troll fairy has done a funny aha. There's so much possibility, it's just set up perfectly. Pokemon Legends Johto, get on it, Game Freak. Hello, this is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers all over the world. Your name is? Your name is? Your name is? Your name is? Pokemon. Neon, that's a nice name. Would you like to learn about berries? 
sure. Berries grow on trees that thrive only in soft, loamy soil. What is loamy? If you take the, some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil, soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a plant, flower beautifully, then grow berries again. I want to see the whole world, wide world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. You sound like an uh, insane person. Hello, the more attention you give to flowers, the more beautiful they bloom. You'll like tending flowers. I'm sure of it. You can have this. Whalmer pail. Now I can water things, I guess. And annoy uh, that Pokemon. I forget its name. That looks like a tree, but it's actually a rock. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground, but they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have will to live. I'm trying to like my big sisters. I'm growing flowers, too. Here you go. It's for you. Persimberry. You can plant a berry and it grow big and make it a Pokemon. Hold it! But now they have a machine that mixes up different berries and makes candies for Pokemon. I want some candy, too. But yeah, a Legends Johto would be, like, the most amazing thing. And I would like to see my boy Quagsire roaming the wild again, so that makes me want a Legends Johto game so much more. Although now my brain just realized that if they did do a Legends Johto... Uh, we would have to also, uh, basically witness the creation of the, uh, what's it, slowpoke tail industry. Slightly disturbing, but, uh, what can you do? Let's water all the berries. It seems to be delighted. But yeah, there's just so many things you could do in a Legends Johto. It'd just be amazing. And hell, you... <laughs> mm. Now I'm wondering what, like, a Legends Kanto would be like. The post-game would be the creation of Mewtwo, probably. But then that wouldn't really be that far back, but who knows. <laughs> Legends Kanto, it's the war that Surge was in. In the Hoenn region, there are pairs of trainers who challenge others for two-on-two -two Pokemon battles called Double Battles. In a Double Battle, the trainer must send out two Pokemon, the one at the left on the list and the top one. Watch how the Pokemon are lined up. Thank you for warning me of the inevitable. Things seem good. Oh, what item doth thou have? Super Potion! You want to fight? Oh, sure, I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. What is this? Yakuza Zero? Why is your sprite, like, rich boy Winston? Oh, no. It's Winton from Overwatch. Ah, bookends. A level 7 Zigzagoon in, a level 7 Zigzagoon out. You might lower my defense, but my rage howls on. And now I'm suddenly reminded that it would be interesting, like, that one Pokemon movie where there's this, like, aura master guy who was apparently, like, a part of a war where Pokemon were used as war machines. It's like, that'd be interesting setting. Pokemon War Crime Edition. <laughs> The real war crime was using the Red Cross as actual... You bastard. <laughs> as actual Red Cross for healing in the game. Because that's like the number one most hilarious thing to happen. So many games get contacted by the Red Cross, and they're just like, hey, stop committing the war crime of using the Red Cross in your game. Jesus fucking Christ, asshole. Popeye, murder this man. But yeah, I genuinely super hope that there is now a line of Legends games that come out. Because that way, people who want just a more simple Pokemon experience, they can exist and have their things. Why couldn't I win? 
because you are Winton from Overwatch. But like, I guess I could heal you. I just think that it would be interesting. Once again, really hope that they have like more teams working on more Pokemon games. So that, like, because it would just be good. It would just be good. There could be variety. And the games themselves could have, like, more polish to them. Wow, you have long range. Should I? Or shouldn't I? Okay, sure, I will battle. I'm going to kill you. Lost Haley. Well, this is destined to be your doom. And now I'm suddenly thinking it would be hilarious if in, like, Legends Johto, you play through the game and then you witness the protagonist from normal Johto go back in time and kick Giovanni's ass. But even then, that's... Because like, that was, through like, going through time, right? But at the same time, it wouldn't be Legends if it was only, like, ten years ago, but still. With Celebi at play, we can have time travel all over the place. Doctor Who Johto. You go to many different time periods. You go to f super far back, and then later on in the timeline, people are like, oh yes, there was this legendary trainer, and it's you. <laughs> There's a statue of you and your Pokemon, and nobody makes the connection that you are you, and those are your Pokemon. I just think it would be funny. Like, again, there's just so much possibility they can do with Pokemon games. They just need crazy people at the helm who go, I'm a crazy person, and I want to do things. I want to make history. I want to let the Pokemon say fuck. Let the Pokemon curse. And now I'm imagining, what if there was, like, a super action-y Pokemon game, and it was, like, a variant of that, you are a, like, uh, a Pokemon savior trying to get Pokemon from bad Pokemon trainers, and I shouldn't have battled, and, like, your trainer can punch the humans while your Pokemon punches the Pokemon. And I think it'd be great. Place your bets. Edgeworth versus Jack the Ripper. Honestly, if in that matchup, Twitch chat, the winner would be Phoenix Wright, somehow. Remember to stay hydrated. Yeah, Celebi's, Celebi's abilities are so fitting for a Legends game, says YouTube chat. Well, my top two are ready. Let's fight these twins. We are twins, so we battle Pokemon together. Not when I'm done with you. I'm going to shove you off this pier. You'll become an orphan. Gina and Mia. This is our first double battle. Ooh, we can... They activate... Oh, that hits both of them. Very nice. Works super well for me. And of course, because my latest, like, frame of reference for this, like, double battle, my brain is just like, man, I can't wait till I get to... Excuse me get to black and white so I can fight Ingo and Emmett in double battles. Bullet Seed the Lotad. Kill him now. Kill him now. This is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon again, Shane. Murder. Yes. Kill them all. Get one shot, idiot.
You're not gonna survive, CDOT. You're bide. You can bide your time, but you cannot bide against me. Kill. Hmm. Tail whip. And then pound. One Pokemon can lower their defense, and the other can slap them. I like double battles. Double battles seems fun. You can even attack your partner. That's hilarious. The glory thief just smacks his partner. No, I am the winner. Me. We battled together, but we both lost. And now time to throw you off the water. Throw off the water. Into the water. One second. There's an old lady over here. If you see berries growing in loamy soil... What is loamy? Feel free to take them, but make sure to plant a berry in the same spot. That's common courtesy. Here, I'll share this with you. Yeah, put away the Tristo berry. The way you look, you must be a trainer, no? Trainers often make Pokemon hold berries. It's up to you whether to grow berries or use them. I'm going to shove all my berries into your face, and then you will die. And no one will be able to know why you overdosed on berries. They'll just be like, what the hell is wrong with this old lady? She seems quite insane. Well, it was nice watching the stream. I probably need to sleep, and don't remain slack off for the rest of the day. I'll drop a follow so I can watch your next stream. Have a great rest of your day. You too! Hope you sleep well. <laughs> and... I... I I was, my brain failed how to use the loamy soil. Hmm. Yes, thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope you sleep well. May you have dreams of Pokemon. Or, like, become the Legends Johto protagonist I get. Celebi shows up, throws you to the past and a new world, and like, what the hell is going on? This is not the magical journey I wanted. You become the Isekai. Why keep it a secret? I'm the water Pokemon expert! Huh? You don't know me? My dear sir, you are a normal NPC sprite. You are not an expert on anything. Let me get let me see your magic carp. Let me see your magic carp. I'm gonna kill it. It's probably gonna be like worth five experience. Die. You are a fool. You are a meringue. I can't wait to run into the Pokemon Magikarp Master who has level 99 Magikarps. That has to exist in one of the Pokemon games. Your Magikarp even, even aren't even worth that much experience. How dare you exist in my world? You dare look at me and you exist in my world, you maniac? Though it would be funny if it was, like, a full team, and it's Magikarp, 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 Gyarados! <laughs> the Gyarados also only knows Splash. Really, this is just a waste of my time, because these guys don't even give good experience. Although I suppose this is meant to be a, oh, uh, here, have some easy experience, even though it's low. And the game not knowing that I kind of grinded. My brain just went, ah, time to level up my Pokemon. Because that's what you do. It's Pokemon. You know what? I'm just going to annihilate you. Your final Pokemon. It's going to go bye-bye. Ah, your final, your final one. B bullet Seed. Kill it. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, at least somebody leveled up from the Magikarp. <laughs> I thought I wasn't too bad, if I may say so, but I guess not. Bleh. You are a failure. Rustboro City. Why is it called Rustboro? Is it because everything's rusting?
Prospero City, the city probing the integration of nature and science. Screw you, that was Jubilee. If a Pokemon gains experience in battles, it can sometimes change the way it looks. A Pokemon change shape? If I, one did that, I would be shocked. I'm gonna enter this building. Is that a real Pikachu? It is a real Pikachu. Old Man Ash Ketchum! For my own Pokemon, I give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of uh, originality. Yes, that's it. I don't believe you. But giving the name uh, Pikachu to a Pikachu, it seems pointless. I suppose it is good to use a name that's easily to understand, but... Originality, you say, old man. Wow, you have Pokemon with you, too. When I get bigger, I'm going to go out places with Pokemon, too. I've ran into children your age who have Pokemon. You're behind the times. My Pokemon evolved. It has a lot of HP now. I should buy super potions for it instead of ordinary potions. I'm getting an escape rope just in case I get lost in a cave. I just need to use it to get back to the entrance. I'm buying some paralyzed heals and antidotes just in case I run into Shroomish and Petalburg Woods. I didn't even get paralyzed by any of them. They were too busy fucking poisoning me. Hmm, they do have super potions now. Hmm. So I guess it is worth the price because it's 50 points for 700. Hmm. Ish, ish. I'll buy a few more potions. And I think I have a good amount of Pokeballs, so I don't need any new Pokeballs. The old sailor, Mr. Briny, lives in a cottage by the sea. He goes for walks in the tunnel every so often. Why would a sea man go to a tunnel? Cutter's house? What? That determined expression, that limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokemon. You're obviously a skilled trainer. No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure that you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be modest or shy. Go on, take it. Now I have cut. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need HM slaves. Oh, no. An HM <laughs> move is one that can be used by Pokemon outside of battle. Any Pokemon that's learned cut can cut, chop down thin trees if the trainer has, learned the, has earned the stone badge. And unlike a TM, an HM can be used more than once. This makes me wonder if later Pokemon games just get rid of HMs entirely. When they were expanding the city of Cut Rustboro, my dad helped out. He made his Pokemon use Cut to clear the land of trees. So he's a deforester. Kill him now. He must be slaughtered. The man next door gave me an HM. I used to teach my Pokemon how to cut down skinny trees. Ah, this child is killing twinks. Just like people, there are male and female Pokemon, but no one seems to have any idea how they're different. Well, you see, one of them has a penis, and the other one has a vagina. Nobody knows what Arceus is, though. My Pokemon has a naive nature, and my friend's has a jolly nature. It's fascinating how Pokemon have personalities. Sentient creatures have their own individuality. Magical. Well, let's talk to everybody. Oh, who might you be? Your new face around these parts? Have you just transferred into the Pokemon's trainer's school? Can I kill people there? I challenged the gym leader, but I'm not going to be easy winning that of my fire type Pokemon. Fire-type Pokemon don't match up well against Rock-type. Meanwhile, me with my Traco, with his bullet seed. Pokemon Trainer School. If I go to the school, will I be able to catch a rare Pokemon easily? No. Did you know this? You can have two-on-two -two battle, even if you're not with another trainer. If you catch the eyes of two trainers when you have two or more Pokemon, they'll both challenge you. Don't you think it'd be cool if you could beat two trainers by yourself? Well, I did annihilate two children earlier. They are now dead. Is this where Game Freak exists? Oh, hey, Skitty! It screamed at me. Devon Corporation workers live in this building. 
So it's like a mining town. <laughs> a mining building, if you were. My daddy's working at the corporation, but my daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Lol. My way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. As opposed to in the old days, when a company first was made, it was big. Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. I'm gonna mug him. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. I'll kill him. I will take all of their stones. My Eevee army will be unstoppable. If this game even has Eevees. I don't think it does. Well, I guess let's talk to the lady. I challenged the... Oh, wait, no, we already talked to you. Won't be easy if you're fire type. I'm going to go to the Pokemon school. Shock everyone of my knowledge. Hello, didn't we meet before? I think back in Petalburg. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So what brings you to the school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is to have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. I already did that. I haven't taught anybody because I don't have the badge. Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know what to do with man-made items like Potion and Antidote. You know, some Pokemon moves can confuse a Pokemon. A confused Pokemon will sometimes attack itself without meaning to, but once it leaves battle, it will return to normal. Well, your head just wouldn't snap. I just wanted a seed dot, and I'm finally getting one. I will kill you for biding my time. I'm treating Pokemon my friend right now. A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items that Pokemon can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. What? Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Whether or not you're a good student will be evidenced by from the way you use this item. I'm going to give it to someone. So... Students who don't pay attention are gifted a usable, well, not usable, but like a giftable item. Occasionally allows the first strike. I will give, not use. I will give it to you. So that he can more often than not just dominate. I was hoping there would be like a mini game in there. A quiz in which I get to kill people. Eat their souls. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Those are called, those, those, those are called attacks. Pokemon are such strange creatures. Did you fall through a rift from Jubilee? Is that child going to die? Oh, it's so hard every day. What's hard, you need to ask? I'm trying to figure out what to make for meals every day. It really isn't easy coming up with meals every day. Mood. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper household. I have a question for you. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so I'm raising a child is all new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh enough. I think she'd laugh at me if I told her something funny. Do you know a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Sure. Well, that's wonderful. So let's hear it. Your suggestion. Die. Child. <laughs> I see. Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Die, child. Die, child. She's not smiling at all. Maybe Walder's one serious child. To abuse her lately. Do you know of a better word? Sure. <laughs> nightmare, 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 nightmare. I see. Well, let's give it a try. Shall we? Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. She's not smiling at all. Well, let's try some nonsense words. Because who knows? Let's take this seriously. Diddly dee. Diddly dee. My brain is on fire, and I don't know why. Fiddle. 
di fiddle di di fiddle di di I see what's going to try fiddle di di fiddle di di So maybe she is just a very serious child Or maybe there's a secret word that you can tell him to make her laugh Maybe somebody in the city is just like this is the most hilarious joke in the world and I can tell him it and then he'll give me a master bowl a Pokemon you get in a trade from someone grows fast, but if you don't have a certain gym badges, it may not obey you. That's why you have to threaten them with violence. Have you taken the Pokemon Gym Challenge? When you get to the gy shining gym badge in hand, I guess trainers begin to realize what is required of them. Rustboro City Gym, Leader Roxanne, the Rock Love and Honor student. Devon Corporation, for all your living needs, we make it all. Well, let's first things first. I'm going to put Popeye in front so that he can annihilate people. First, I'm going to check out this building. Oh, my Pokemon is cute. Sure, I knew that. But if you really want it, I'm willing to trade it with you. You what? I, I, th I thought he wanted a C-Dot and he'd give me a Routes. I'll trade you my C-Dot for a Routes? I don't even have a Routes. You mumble, you monster. I want a Routes! In all sorts of places, there are all sorts of Pokemon and people. I find that fascinating, so I go to all places. Have you gone to the moon? Well, let's give this a try, maybe. <laughs> Yo, how's it going? Listen, my friend, would you like to become the champion? I'm no trainer, not me, but I can sure give you winning advice. That's settled then. We'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers, and that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Roxanne, the gym leader, is a user of rock-type Pokemon. The rock type is very durable, but it can stand water type and grass type moves. Come see me afterwards if you beat the gym leader. Well, go for it. Don't take us gym trainers lightly. I'll show you why we're better. Because you just hang out in a gym leader's place? Gatekeeping people's access to a gym leader? You sound like a bitch. Water type. What you gonna do, little man? You don't even have a rock type move, do you? You're a... You're a little blah, 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 blah. That's what you are. You're a bibrable. You were too good for me. I will kick all of your asses with my own ass. Hmm. Let's try and level up you. We'll switch out to somebody else. Hmm, a double battle, hmm. So I'll heal you. Yeah, we'll do this. I'll heal my dude and we'll double battle these guys. Double battle time. If you can't beat me, you won't stand a chance against Roxanne. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage! That would actually be an interesting idea. Hyperactive Pokemon need a place to go crazy. Two Geodudes, huh? I think we're gonna annihilate them. You are going to be destroyed. Bye bye. Does everybody in this gym just have Geo Dudes? And now my Popeye is level nine. <laughs> We'll do it again. Let's do the time warp again. 
kind of disappointed that you can't swap out Pokemon when another one of theirs goes down as like an opportunity. I'm just like, aha, now is my chance. But it's Shane leveled up as well. Huzzah. My ace is stronger. Wow, you've got some potential. Oh man, oh man, our challenger is one feisty customer. And that's it. So what Pokemon do we want to begin with to get them leveled up a bit? How about we level up Night Fang by having them in front? Hello, I'm Roxanne, the Rustboro Gym Leader. I became a gym leader so that I might apply what I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to send out Geodude. I'm just going to swap out to another Pokemon. Because I'm not afraid of you. Quick Claw activates. I could use my... <laughs> oh, Rock Tomb, huh? Rude. Luckily, I know Absorb. I can heal and damage you at the same time. It's almost dead, too. <laughs> Full heal! Go ahead, Rock Tomb me again. Actually, I would have preferred if you didn't. How very rude. Heal just a little bit of his soul. Oh, this is perfect. It'll heal my dude a lot. Thanks for the impromptu potion, Roxanne. Idiot. Thanks for sharing your potion. Hell yeah, Nightfang leveled up and learned Sand Attack. Hmm. We'll send in Zoom and shift back to Shane. So that Zoom can level up some. I'm going to assume you don't just have a team of three Geodudes. That has to be like, I don't know. Anything else? Another Rock Tomb. Well, too bad. My guy, he heals. He's faster than you. He has a quick claw, and he heals from the damage he deals against you. Fool. Then Zoom grew to level 9. Huzzah. And learned Headbutt. Mmm, a nose pass, huh? Well, let's try and level up Archie. Once again, we're gonna swap in Shane. Yep, that's a that's a level nine a uh, level fifteen nose pass. Oh god. Uh Shane, please do good and not die. I don't have revives. Good, it used Harden! You know what this means? Bullet seed. Oh no. Well, that's not good. I'm going to use Absorb instead, because I think that does actually more damage. Unless the Harden is just that evil. I think the Harden is just that evil. Use Leer! Aha, you missed, you fool! Now I'll deal more damage to you. I do fear that you will do massive damage to me. Block, don't! Oh, can't escape. I loathe you. You big stone wall of a bastard. Please don't one hit kill my dude. Does more than half health. Please absorb a lot. Please absorb a lot. Ah, shit. Okay. I think we have to use Bullet Seed. 
You slut. Of course, it only did it two times. Absorb. Quit using Harden. It is very frustrating. Absorb again. Ah, oh, you use tackle instead. That's kind of odd, actually. I'm so paranoid, I'm going to use a potion on my man. Timed it perfectly. Alright, use Absorb again. Ah, oh, shit, it went first. Quick Claw, you failed me! Well, there goes my ace. And he's not gonna get any experience from this because he's fainted now. Which is bullshit. Water gun. Probably should have used Supersonic. Quick, Supersonic! Please don't use Rock Tomb. Good. I probably should have sent you up first and confused it so it wouldn't do as many hardens. How sad that my poor, poor ace, Shane, did most of the work and didn't get any of the reward. So, I lost. It seems that I still have much more to learn. I understand. The Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. So please accept the official Pokemon League stone badge. Unless you are the Dragon-type leader lady from Johto, then you can deny it. Neon received the stone badge from Roxanne. The stone badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Something... Rock Tomb? Let me guess. Yep, Rock Tomb. It's not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before using it. And we have defeated our first gym leader. Hello, dude, I beat her. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory! My cheering must have worked. Great. Check your trainer card. The stone badge you got should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. That's gotta feel awesome. We're first gonna go to the Pokemon. Get out! Out of the way! Wait, please! Don't take my goods! Well, sorry about that. I have to go heal my Pokemon. My ace is dead. To restore your health? Yes, please. My poor ace pulled oh, super time. And it basically beat Nose Pass three times over. But it was a stone wall, had an Orin Berry, and a potion. But I do believe that that shall be it for now, because we have been going for over three hours, and we got our first gym badge. So, yeah, I think things are good. I might do a bit of off-screen grinding just to bring the rest of the team up a bit, but not too much. Like, not enough to activate an evolution, I hope. But, yes, we will stop here. Like always, Pokemon games are a lot of fun. It is just a magical experience, and I love it. So far, it's a Pokemon game. The Pokemon designs are nice, the feel is nice, the flow is nice. I do think that a level 15 Nose Pass as the first Pokemon, like, ace of a gym leader is a bit harsh, but I suppose we could have gone and done more story stuff and grinded before doing it, But and I still won with only one feint, so not terrible. But yes, we're having a lot of fun here. 
And thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to follow me on my either one of my two YouTube channels, Neon Icy Wings, for edited content. I swear. Hmm. I guess my ex expression shortcuts just aren't working. Eh. Oh well. But yeah, my edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, which I swear edited content is coming to eventually, or my streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where I stream live on uh, live on YouTube, duh, as well as upload the VOD for future viewings so people can look back on the adventures I've had, like Pokemon Yellow and Crystal, Blue Rescue Team, the Mass Effect Trilogy, Undertale, just a lot of games. As well as, uh, you can also follow me on Twitch if that's your preference. Twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings, even if Twitch is doing its damnedest to try and destroy itself. Eh. But if you want other things from me, I also have art that I, like my little dude in the corner. And I post to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Inkblot, Newgrounds, lots of places. And you can find links to those places through my link tree, which can be found in the bios, descriptions, and link places of wherever you're watching this. And it should be linktr.ee slash neonicywings. Other links in there should also be some of my writing and my Patreon, if you want to read some things from me or save me from the evils of this world, monetarily. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.